dastardly. Uh, as you can see, we've got Blackburn next, but that's going to be in the next video. Uh, I'm going to go through Lord's Wood signings that we've picked up in the window. Um, we'll just change that to... Um, what should we do? Overall rating. Right, so first up in Signe, got him on a freebie from Lazio. Well, he was on a free transfer. So, um, player we're looking forward to seeing in action. Well, he's played a couple of games already, looked the part, plenty of dribbling skills. So yeah, uh, good acquisition for Lord's. It's going to be a long season with all the cuts and the league and we need quality in the side. Giorgio Opoulos, again another player we wanted in the midfield role. Uh, again, came in on a freebie. Um, place uh, blah, blah, blah. free kicks, corners, penalties, he's your man. Uh, also, good finishing, good passing. Um, someone who can pick that key old pass when it's needed in tight games, and I think he's the reason we've brought him in to do that sort of thing. Uh, he's at peak level, but players of this quality can go on past their peak level, go on when they, even when they're in decline, they can be decent. So, um, a bit like a Perlo of the side, he'll be probably. Uh, De La Feo, swap deal. Uh, came from Sevilla, and we sent Castanagos uh, and Tenke the opposite way, basically a swap deal. Um, looking forward to seeing this lad, even though his start to Lord of Korea wasn't great. It's sent off in his first game after 25 minutes. Um, really sort of took a couple of games. Uh, last game he played really well, he played in. So, yeah, he's, he's starting to get into it now and looking the player that uh, could be top quality for Lords in Europe this season. I mentioned Renteria, uh, 23 goals in 23 games this season. Still the main man at the club. Still the main goal scorer. Uh, just mentioned Lamella is actually going to be leaving us at the end of the season. He will be going to uh, Leverkusen. And we bring Sun in from Leverkusen to take his place. Uh, he's had a good season, half decent stats, but he's dipped dramatically the last sort of 10 games and not really been the player he was. Um, so he's at peak level as well, I believe. So um, that's why we're chopping him in now. Keita came from Lazio uh, with Hojberg and 3 million going the opposite way. He's already shown in the couple of games he's played he can be a decent asset. Pace and power down the left-hand side. Looking forward to him and Delefeo linking up and uh, creating goals and also scoring a few themselves. Marrakis, defensive midfield, been brought in for his work rate. Uh, he's played a few games already and definitely looks like a good signing for the club. Um, he's been great in defensive midfield and also pushing forward. They're getting a few shots in. I think he's hit the woodwork twice. He's not scored yet, but he will get there. Uh, but yeah, definitely still developing at 25. So again, he's someone for the future. Uh, Pamika came from Hanover and we sent Lopez and 10k the other way uh, American player I couldn't find him his real name so I'm assuming it's a made up player anyway uh, decent stats again um, not used him properly yet so I've yet to make judgment but uh, he's tall powerful so he, and he's got a good long shot on him so only time will tell whether I made a good decision there with getting him in. And this lad, I'm chuffed to pieces with this bloke so far. Four goals in four games. Um, okay, and he's actually down as a prolific ringer. I've been playing him up front. Can't stop scoring. Scored every game he's played so far. And this could be a big season for him with all competitions going on. When Terrier and Marshall have finally got a bit of competition up front from this lad. And if not, he can actually play in support striker and attack in midfield. So there's always a place for him inside at the moment. And I'm pleased I've, well, I've managed to get hold of him. Marshall, we know about 18 goals this season. I think he scored in the last 17 games on the trot. Um, big one for the future. Uh, still pushing for a regular first team spot. But with Terry in his form, he's in. He's difficult to move. Now, Marquinhos, he's coming from PSG with Coyote and 2 million going the other way. Uh, 3 million wages, but he's got great stats. A younger player as well. Uh, again, we always like to build for the future here at Lourdes. 
Uh, he's only 23, so he's still developing. Team works 87 already. So, yeah, hopefully the Brazilian could be a decent acquisition, although he may struggle to uh, knock Stones and Corker out of the centre-half positions. And with Brooks playing really well this season, competition is high at the back there, and we'll have to play really well in order to keep your spot. Jenkinson, the full-back, coming in from West Ham. Um, we swapped in for Mayer and 10K. I mean, we probably could have got more money for Mayer, but he wasn't playing well. But this bloke started well. Uh, again, like De La Feu, though, he was sent off in his first game uh, for two booker balls. But to be honest with you, they was weak bookings, as normal in pairs. Um, it's got speed and agility, work rate. So, yeah, he's one for the future. He's good stamina. That's why I bought him, really, as an attacking fullback. Stamina to last the game. And he'll provide competition with Fabinho at right back and give loads of options with the, like I said, with the long season we've got coming up now, the rest of the season. As we get to the business end, we're going to need players of quality in the side. Fabinho, we know about now. Cornelius, young lad. Came from FC Copenhagen. And we sent Fraser Campbell the other way. Uh, not Fraser Campbell, Joel Campbell the other way. Um, and a couple of mil, I think it was. But this is our target, man. Something a bit different up front. He's 193 in height, big lad. Uh, but he's good with his feet as well. I mean, 85 strength in the air. If you look at his stats, finishing 80, header 85, kicking and speed. Kicking's 87, speed's 82, body balance. So, ideal target, man, if you want to mix it up a bit up front. Anderson, free transfer. Young lad, I'm not entirely sure why I got him really. I think it's because he was free and he looked better than I thought he was. I think I went for his passing, which was 80. So, But we'll see, time tells. If not, we've got a good sell on fee there if we do manage to, if he doesn't manage to settle, settle at the side. And uh, well, at least we can get some money back for him because he's cost us nothing to sign. Penny, we know that, sure. Ruley, the goalkeeper. Swapped in for Barry. Um, um, from Real Sociedad, I think it is. Uh, 2.5 million as well, going the other way. Decent keeper, good eye. Wanted chat, wanted competition for Capino. Barry, although played well, was prone to crazy charges out and just kept getting lobbed all the time. So he had no choice but to chop him in. But 78 rated keeper, there's only 25, and he's still developing. So it could be a long term thing here. But it's competition again for Capino in goal as well. So we've got two decent goalkeepers. And that should see us through now for the next couple of seasons. Ola John, you know what you're going to get with him. Works hard. Not the greatest player, but he always gives you 100%. Um, but he may, because he's at peak level, be going in the summer on to pastures, you know. That's Capino I was just talking about. Consistency is bad, though, which is why we've brought in another goalkeeper. As Ruley's consistency is a bit higher. Brooks has been great this season. Uh, I recommend him to anyone. If you want to sign a player when you first start, pick up Brooks. I can't remember his real name. Uh, Brooks is his real name, so I can't remember his name in the game. He's an American centre-half. Uh, if you just look on the Pez database online or just go through, search American centre-halves, he's in there. John Stone's been great. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all the new signings so far. I'll just show you the transfer uh, negotiations in progress signs. So, I'll show you who's coming in. Sam, he'll be coming in up front. Who I've swapped for Lamella. Um, support striker or left side of uh, attack. Again, quality finishing. Kicking speed, so yeah, he's someone I'm going to look forward to seeing in, in June when he arrives at the club from Leverkusen and Lamella goes the other way. Let's quick look at the stats of the players, just so you can see. Right, uh, where are we? Look, so there's Renteria, 23 goals, 23 games. Uh, pretty consistent players in the size, He's got six assists as well. There's Barkley, eight assists this season. Marshall, 18 goals, 25 games. I think 16 of them have come in the last 16 games for Marshall. 
But he's also got six assists as well. So he's played really well this season. I've been really pleased with him. And Signy's not got off the mark yet. And assists or goals. Uh, Jenkinson's got an assist already. He's played really well. Um, set up, I think it was Mercatton actually, for his first goal. So Badu scored a screamer earlier in the season. Suzo's there with six assists as well. Luella's there with seven assists, 12 goals, but them 12 goals all came in the first sort of 15 games and he's just dramatically dipped off since then. I've not really got into it. So there's the squad so far. Erpamika uh, has actually got an assist in there as well. We'll just check on the uh, league, shall we? Uh, let's look at the, I'll just show you the team as it is. So you can see I've had to change around in the formation just to see how it'll work. That'll be the side that faces Blackburn in the next game. McCatton just behind Renteria, Keita and Delefeo. George Poulos are pulling the strings with Marcus in defensive and Marquinez is in alongside Kulka. So yeah, looking for big things from Lord of this season. We've still got to play a Monaco in the Champions League. We've got the FA Cup against Villa, and we're trying to push for the title as well. So we're attacking on all three fronts again this season. So hopefully it'll be for an exciting well, the second half of the season, and I can hope you can join me for it. See ya.